Well, here we are again at Fossil Bluff, and uh, I've been here about a week now working on uh, um, just keeping the place running, refueling aircraft, and uh, doing a bit of meteorology. Um, but uh, it's very pleasant here. It's a nice, uh, a nice red hut over here, which uh, was built in the 60s as a wintering station, and uh, it's uh, certainly very comfortable and uh, Mike? very well provisioned. You forgot your drink. Oh, cheers, Pat. Gin tea. Yeah, oh, very, thank you. very nice. Gin tea Lovely. on the veranda is very fine. Thank it's you very much. Life. <laughs> it's a very hard life in the Antarctic. One of the many things we have to do while we're at Fossil Bluff is take weather observations for aircraft. Doing the Met Obs, as it's known, involves coming out here outside with the clipboard and looking at some of the features um, in the landscape. We have to assess visibility, uh, what's called contrast, uh, which is how clearly you can see marks in the snow, um, and we also try and make an estimate of the heights of the cloud. Today, as you can probably see behind me, it's very cloudy indeed. We've got what's called eight octaves, which means that the sky is completely full of cloud at about 3,000 feet. And uh, we've got the, we judge the visibility by looking at the mountains in the distance. And uh, those mountains over there are about uh, 45 kilometers away, so the visibility is at least 45 kilometers. So I shall just scroll that down. Um, yep, yeah, contrast is poor, eight octaves. Um, and uh, it's not raining, there's no snow, so present weather is nil. And as with so many things, uh, a lot of it is now automated. The wind direction, speed, temperature, humidity are all made automatically by this weather station, which you can just see in the shot. Um, and this one actually transmits uh, full synoptic observations backed by satellite to the World Meteorological Organization uh, for use by forecasters all over the world. Um, our, our little observations just go back to Rothera and are used by our aircraft and any others that happen to be passing through. Fossil Bluff is certainly a very pleasant spot. It's on Alexander Island and it has a lovely view out over the King George VI Sound, uh, which is a frozen ice shelf, and across to the mountains on the peninsula beyond. The hut here was built in 1961 and it's unusual in that it was the only wintering station to be established entirely by air. It can't be reached by sea. The little brown building with the chimney is the rocket bog, that's bass speak for an incinerating toilet, runs on gas, and uh, round behind the hut are some other ancillary buildings. Uh, the one you can see that with red, white and blue stripes is the uh, food store, which is known as Tesco's. That's all for now. It's time to go inside and make a cup of tea on what is perhaps the world's most southerly Rayburn stove. Goodbye. <laughs>